And the big breaking news that's coming in this morning, U.S. President Joe Biden has made a huge announcement at the State of the Union address, his first address, and he's gone ahead and announced that Russian planes, Russian airlines are now banned in the U.S. airspace. This is Biden's clearest message yet to Vladimir Putin, directly addressing the Russian president. He said that Putin has made a bad move and he'll pay a price for it. Biden saying that we will completely choke the Russian economy and has called Putin's move of declaring war on Ukraine as badly calculated. Biden has reiterated that the United States stands in solidarity with Ukraine and besides a number of economic sanctions, he's now announced that the US airspace stands closed for Russian planes, for all Russian airlines. Here are some of the highlights of what Biden has said. To every Ukrainian, their fearlessness, their courage, their determination literally inspires the world. Groups of citizens blocking tanks with their bodies, everyone from students to retirees to teachers, turned soldiers defending their homeland. And in this struggle, President Zelensky said in his speech to the European Parliament, light will win over darkness. Russia's Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundation of the free world thinking he could make it bend to his menacing ways. But he badly miscalculated. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall of strength he never anticipated or imagined. He met the Ukrainian people. <laughs> Together, along with our allies, we are right now enforcing powerful economic sanctions. We're cutting off Russia's largest banks in the international financial system, preventing Russia's central bank from defending the Russian ruble, ruble, making Putin's $630 billion war fund worthless. We're choking Russia's access. We're choking Russia's access to technology that will sap its economic strength and weaken its military for years to come. Tonight, I say to the Russian oligarchs and the corrupt leaders, who built billions of dollars off this violent regime, no more. The United States, I mean it. Putin's latest attack on Ukraine was premeditated and totally unprovoked. He rejected repeated, repeated efforts at diplomacy. He thought the West and NATO wouldn't respond. He thought he could divide us at home in this chamber and this nation. He thought he could divide us in Europe as well. But Putin was wrong. We are ready. We are united, and that's what we did. We stayed united. We're coming for you, ill-begotten gains. And tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. And that particular statement is the biggest announcement made yet by Biden in the State of the Union address about action, a crackdown against Russia. I want to bring in Rohit Sharma. He's reporting from Washington, D.C., getting us some of the highlights of the State of the Union address. Good evening, Rohit. Uh, you know, the biggest announcement yet being made by Biden. He's spoken very, very tough against Vladimir Putin, against Russia. But the fact that the United States is now closed off its airspace for all Russian flights, for all Russian airlines, that's a huge step. Absolutely, actually, and thanks for having me. I think you know, this was on the expected lines. I think you know, today there was this big meeting in, the, in Washington, D.C., and I think the first thing that came out or that was sort of leaked to the press was the fact that the U.S. will you know, stop its air, you know, airspace for Russia and Russian flights. So apart from that, I think one of the other things that people are looking forward to was the fact that, you know, would Biden's stance chain on uh, boots on the ground? And he clearly stated that also, that, you know, we're not looking for a direct conflict with Russia, but we will support the Ukrainian people. And I think that that was one of the major things that also came out today. Uh, you know, that's a point that I want to focus on as well. Biden saying that we'll offer all possible support to Ukrainians. He hailed also the spirit of Ukrainians in fighting back Russia as well. But he's confirmed very, very clearly there, Rohit, in his speech, that there's no question of American boots on the ground in Ukraine. We'll back our allies, our NATO allies, but no boots on the ground in Ukraine. Right, Akshita. And I think he also, he also, you know, went on to talk about how, you know, initially in, in his speech, how the 
sanctions have worked, you know, how they were able to squeeze uh, Russia and isolate Russia. He talked about 30 other countries, right, uh, allowing to release 16 barrels of oil reserves around the world so that people at home and the world do not feel feel the oil pinch. So I think what Biden was trying to say is diplomatically they've isolated uh, Russia and Vladimir Putin. And he, I mean, America obviously does not seek direct conflict. But what he was trying to also say was there was a question about will the sanctions work? And I think what he was essentially saying and selling it to the world, to the American people today from that podium was the sanctions are working and Putin is isolated. Uh, and that's what it comes down to, Rohit. You know, there's been a lot of criticism of how the United States has responded, uh, the kind of sanctions that they've imposed. Yes, crippling, but not gone beyond that as well. Uh, and I think Biden has made it very, very clear in his address that that's where they'll draw the line. At sanctions, there will be military support, perhaps, but no troops that will be sent into Ukraine. Has he given any details also in his speech about what kind of military aid U.S. is willing to give Ukraine? Well, so when I spoke to defense officials yesterday, Achit, uh, you know, there was talk about, you know, how amazing the intelligence has been and that the intelligence have been, has been provided to the Ukrainian people. We've always talked, you know, talked about the missiles, the Stringer missiles uh, and all that stuff. But I think the most important thing that America has been very successful right now, even more than is the intelligence. And I think a lot of people are celebrating that. So essentially, I think, you know, from President Biden's perspective or Washington DC's perspective, it is very important to be able to provide right intel alongside, you know, all the support that they can with their NATO allies. And we heard about, you know, some of the nations might be sending or loaning uh, the jets, the fighter jets. So there's a lot going on on the background, but he did not come out and say anything explicitly, Akshita. It'll come down to one question, essentially. Yes, Biden has spoken tough. Biden has lashed out at Putin. He referred to him as a dictator, said his move was badly calculated. But will it stop Putin? The answer most definitely at this point is no, because Russia has been very, very defiant in the face of all of these economic sanctions. Rohit, stay on with me. For all our viewers who are just joining us on this broadcast, I just want to play out some key highlights of exactly what Biden has said. The big announcements, the big headlines are number one, the United States banning and closing their airspace for all Russian flights. Number two, more economic sanctions. Number three, big tough talk against Putin. We're coming for you, ill-begotten gains. And tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. Together, along with our allies, we are right now enforcing powerful economic sanctions. We're cutting off Russia's largest banks in the international financial system, preventing Russia's central bank from defending the Russian ruble. ruble making Putin's $630 billion war fund worthless. We're choking Russia's access. We're choking Russia's access to technology that will sap its economic strength and weaken its military for years to come. Tonight, I say to the Russian oligarchs and the corrupt leaders who built billions of dollars off this violent regime, no more. The United States... I mean it. To every Ukrainian, their fearlessness, their courage, their determination literally inspires the world. Groups of citizens blocking tanks with their bodies. Everyone from students to retirees to teachers turned soldiers defending their homeland. And in this struggle, President Zelensky said in his speech to the European Parliament, light will win over darkness.